Good quality leg machines that can handle loads of weight aren't cheap these days, unfortunately. A leg press in this price range will just not be up for serious commercial use. But what sweetens the deal on this machine even more is that it's got a, a genuine, legit shoulder exercise. That once you try it, you'll probably agree that it's almost worthy of, a, of its own machine itself. That's German engineering at its finest for you. Now I've been selling leverage squat machines now for 20 years. First was the, the Powertech ones. And then I started importing the Megatech, which were later rebranded to ATX. Both of these machines were great, an excellent leg exercise, relatively compact for a leg machine, and they're really good value too, especially since they were also really great standing calf raise machines. Now, this ATX SQM700 leaves all those behind. Everything about this machine is better, stronger, more functionality, more features. The list just goes on. So I'll break it down for you. With the handles at the, at the start, people did Viking presses on the leverage squats for years. They would grip the pads, they would grip the weighed horns, they'd grip anything they could get their hands on. So when I first saw the handles on this machine, I knew that was gonna be a massive upgrade for people straight away. Now, starting from the top, when I first saw the unit built for the first time, I thought it was missing grips or end caps at the end, but after using the Viking press and seeing the other guys use it, I know why there's no grips or end caps there. This machine's designed for heavy lifting in, in a strongman style gym. The handles have just got textured paintwork on them, which acts as the grip. So the end caps, the grips would end up being popped off or shredded in a high heavy use strongman style gym. Instead, they're just basic three mil thick, 30, 32 mil grip, perfect for the application. Now the other standout feature at the top of the machine are the pads. They're very different compared to the previous ones. They're bigger, they're, they're, they're contoured as opposed to two piece. I remember the old designs had a back section. So when you're doing a traditional squat and you're sort of leaning in a bit, the base of the pad would dig into your, your, the mid of your back. So there's no such issue with these design. Now I'll point out that when you're lifting heavy, you will experience some discomfort. When you put 200 kilos on your shoulders, you're always gonna have 200 kilos on your shoulders. So that's gonna be some discomfort no matter what padding you've got. But if you're gonna have 200 kilos on your shoulders, this would have to be one of the most comfortable ways to do it. Now moving on to the weight horns, they're massive. They've got 36 and a half centimeters of loading space. Previously on the old models, they were only 26 centimeters. So everything about this machine is being built for heavy weight. They're also angled, so you won't need to use collars to hold the weight in place. Now moving down to the squat arm, that's also been significantly redesigned. It's made from, all made out of three mil thick steel. It's got six mil backing plates where the bearings go. On the underside, it's got little handles to grip, as well as the, the anchor points for your resistance bands. Now at the end, it's got a solid steel axis that pivots on industrial bearings. Now the other standout on this machine is the frame. Now, this machine is significantly shorter than the older versions. Now, those older machines used to have a bit of flex. Now, that was understandable by the nature of a squat machine. The weight is suspended at height, and traditionally for leg exercise, you do push more weight. So just like a bridge or a skyscraper that are designed to withstand the elements, the machines were designed to have some flex. I saw some very impressive lifts done on these leverage squat machines, even in commercial gyms with no issues. But by making this frame shorter, this has practically addressed the flex issue. Plus you'll also notice it's got the, the side support and they intersect proportionately at a much higher point than the older versions. So it not only makes it a lot stronger and reduces the flex, it also is ideal because it gives you weight storage. You'll also notice it's got dual start-stop position so you can get into a, the right height. 
Plus down the bottom, there's, a, there's the anchor point for the resistance band peg. It's cheese so it won't tear your bands up. Finishing up, it's got the monster oversized foot plate. Now this will accommodate all different foot positions from forward, back, width. And finally, you'll also notice that it's got holes drilled in the base. So if you want to, you can bolt the machine down. Now, personally, I've never done a Viking press heavy enough to move the machine, but if you can and you don't want to bolt it down, you can just leave some weight plates on it to, to anchor it down. Now, moving on to the exercises. Aside from the obvious ones, which would be your squats, Viking press, standing calf raises and lunges, there are other exercises that you can actually perform on this machine. Now, the gym professor did a video with some of the exercises and variations that his team came up with. Now, it's a bit of a laugh. Some of them are marginal, but others, like the chest press, are actually performed regularly by their members in, in their gym. So I guess after selling Powertech leverage machines for so long, in a home situation, a leverage arm, like the one on this, this machine here, is a major source of innovation. You'll be surprised at what people will come up with and how they'll use it. So just play around, but don't buy this machine on any of these quirky variations. The squat and the shoulder press alone will more than cover the cost of this machine. Now with the squats, you can do traditional squats where you engage your back or move forward on the foot plate and do a traditional sort of hack squat movement. Now pendulum squat machines are all the rage now, but these machines are massive. Plus they cost a bomb too. I'm no biomechanical expert, but this machine with the correct body positioning will get you pretty close to that pendulum squat movement but at a fraction of the price. What this machine lacks in comparison to a pendulum squat, I think it more than makes up with having the, the really good quality shoulder press functionality. All the other exercises are just a cherry on the top that, that add value to this machine. So if you're a gym, this is a great way to add quality exercises to your gym for the serious trainers, for the heavy lifters. At this price, you would be hard pressed to find a machine that can do two quality exercises, two quality compound movements at that for two different body parts with such heavy weight. For a home user, if you lift heavy, but don't have the money or space for a quality leg press that can handle decent weight and feels good under that decent weight, then this machine will be well worth a look for you.